Well, I had the chance to visit Ameristar's. Oh, you did, did Riva, you? I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Riva's Steak and Seafood, where I spoke to the executive chef about their culinary, mm -hmm. culinary program. And I got a taste. I think it was literally some of the best salmon I've ever had. They got the delicious dish. food. Over. He's a great chef. And it all uh -huh. sounds tasty. So let's see how it all went down. Are you thinking of becoming a chef? Expedite your career with the opportunity to work along Ameristar Casino Hotel Council Bluffs executive chef Andreas Hartman, who's led culinary teams in some of the world's finest restaurants. Today we're inside Riva Steak and Seafood here at Ameristar with Andreas, Chef Andreas, to hear all about their culinary program. So, Chef, tell me, what is so unique about the Culinary Apprenticeship Program here at Ameristar? Well, there are several, several uh, unique aspects to that, uh, but uh, I think the most important one is you get a hands-on experience working alongside uh, uh, renowned chefs uh -huh. and very experienced talent. Uh, second piece is you get to you get paid Will you learn. It's a three-year program. Uh -huh. uh, two years of, of it is spent here on property, and then the third year is spent at anywhere in any of our, our, our other properties uh -huh. uh, around the country. Now, why do you think it's important to learn and train alongside a world-renowned chef such as yourself? To gain experience and, uh, and learn different cultures of uh, different cuisines, mm -hmm. and not just pertaining to this area, but from worldwide. And we're going to meet one of those students today, Chef Edward Ed Powers. Correct. And what are we going to be cooking? We're going to be cooking a dish that we serve in Riva here. It's a smoke, table smoked salmon Ooh. dish with, uh, with uh, horseradish cabbage. You had me at salmon. It's one of my favorite foods. Well, let's go check it out. So, Chef, what kind of salmon do you use here inside Riva, and where can you find this salmon here in Council Bluffs in the Omaha area? Uh, we, we actually use a wild caught, uh, wild caught uh, salmon, Pacific salmon, and uh, we, we fly it in three times a week, but you also can substitute an Atlantic salmon, which you can buy here in most uh, stores like hy Wee or, or Baker's or, or things like that. Well, it looks fantastic, and we have Edward Powers here to help us make this dish. Let's get started. Okay, well, first off, we're gonna, we start off by rendering the bacon. Right, and it's important to use a cold, a cold uh, pot for that, so this way it uh, evenly cooks. We're gonna add some fresh butter to that. The butter gives us a little extra flavor and helps us to caramelize the shallots, which is gonna be the next part of the dish. Chef Edward Powers was in the culinary apprenticeship program here, so he learned these fantastic dishes here at Ameristar. Correct. He's been in the program and he's become an area chef since and learned amongst many other dishes how to prepare this dish. So for that now we're going to add the cabbage to that. That cabbage looks yeah. tasty. And it's just rough chopped uh, green cabbage. Okay. And then we're going to uh, season this with a little, this just a little bit of salt and pepper. Easy on the salt because we have all of the salty pepper in there already so we want right. to go a bit easy on that. Then we're going to deglaze with a little uh, 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 Chardonnay or any kind of white wine that you like to use, preferably something a bit fruity, not too sweet. Is this referred to as a sensory dish? Correct. Yes. Now, what does that mean? That's uh, one of our one of our core dishes that we serve here in Riva, and the idea of the dish is to bring the flavors from the kitchen into the dining room. That's why we smoke it actually in the dining room in front of the guests. Okay. Okay. So and now we're going to add some cream to that. Oh, cream! Okay. I love that because that okay. makes it nice and thick. Yeah, and then we're gonna then we're just gonna put this on a on a low low to a medium heat, and uh, and slowly simmer it until it's done. How about the salmon? The salmon we cut this into six ounce fillets, and then we score it, which means we slice the skin li uh, lightly on the on the skin side, and that uh, helps to crisp up the skin and provides even cooking for the salmon. Salt, salt and pepper, a little lemon juice. And then a very hot skillet, uh, skin side down first, so we get that nice and crispy skin. Once you serve the skin on a, any kind of fish, you want to make sure it's nice and crispy. So how do you tell when salmon is cooked and uh, it's done? So I like to cook my salmon, or for that matter, any kind of protein, about 75% on one side. And in particular on salmon, you can see as it slightly changes color from the side up. It does, yes. It, it, it turns more of a orangey instead of that bright pink bright pink color, uh -huh. and that's how you can, you can tell it's, it's cooking evenly. So in the meantime, we have the cabbage, it's almost done, right? Uh, so we're gonna finish up the cabbage with some fresh uh, uh, grated horseradish root to give it that extra flavor. So now we are ready to start serving this up. We're putting it on the plate, and I hope that you guys weren't teasing me. I hope I get to try this, right? 
Of course you get to Okay, try good, because I would have been disappointed. It smells good, it looks good. So we're just putting the cabbage dish, cabbage dish on the plate here. And what do we have here? This is a tomato citrus, a tomato citrus marmalade. This is our homegrown tomatoes with a, a preserved with uh, some citrus and, uh, and uh, vinegar. Okay, and then our, oh, that salmon looks like it's perfectly cooked. Okay, so Beautiful. Again, the important part was to have a nice and crispy skin, which we accomplished here. And as you can see, the scoring of the salmon gives it a nice, uh, a nice look, right? Look at that. Okay, finish with some popcorn sprouts just for decoration. Voila, beautiful. And that is, that's a fancy dish right there. Yes. Okay, so now we are smoking this and you actually do this table side. Oh, there we go. I have never seen anything like this, chef. This is very cool. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, wow. Hic so it's. Hickory smoke this table side, just like that. Oh, it smells like the forest. Remove that. So again, the idea was to bring the kitchen flavor into the dining room. Okay, ready? This is gonna be mystic. There we go. Ooh, wow, that is fabulous. <laughs> I need to get out more, apparently, because I've never seen a smoker like that. And I think, I can't wait any longer to try this, so okay. I'm gonna dig right in here. All right. I gotta get a little bit of everything. Whoops. This is amazing. Thank you. That is fantastic. Very, very good. And again, you can get this inside Riva Steak and Seafood at Ameristar here. Thank you so much, Chef. This was amazing. You're welcome. Thank you for coming out. If you are interested in the Culinary Apprenticeship Training Program at Ameristar, submit an application and resume online at pnkinc.com slash careers. Write a two to three page essay titled, Why I Desire a Career as a Chef. And I gotta tell you, if you want to try that salmon. That looked delicious. It was, looked I fantastic. ate every last bite. I had yeah. a hard time even like letting Jesse, our <laughs> photographer, have a bite. <laughs> they try yes, it. the recipe will be posted on our website, omahamorningblend.com after the show. And here, their social media, Twitter at Ameristar CB, Instagram the same, and head on over to Facebook and check out Ameristar Casino Council Bluffs. Yeah, but you do not need to get it. I mean, it'd be good if you got out more, but even people that get out, I don't think have seen that type of presentation at the so table. Anyway. That's pretty cool. cool. With the smoke and it's yeah, like I've all never over seen that the before. place. Yeah, yeah really it cool. was really cool. But does it smell like a forest? It smells like a forest. <laughs> I loved it. It reminded me of the Black Hills. Just was, fresh. Yeah, just fresh, fresh and yeah. like a pine tree. I loved yeah. it. So. All right.